Look at the truck spotter. Why aren't you taking pictures of me? Damn you! Just because I got a plain white Mercedes. Well, that would have been a nice picture. I've got all this front repaired after the van. I am the Big Daddy, this is Except for Access, that's a crap load of strawberries, and let's just get into it. I never actually realised until I started driving past here that most of the strawberries that we eat come from this area. Um, so many strawberries, and they're everywhere. So I've got a load of sand on, which I picked up on Friday, and that's going up to Aberdeen, which is where we're heading now. And I saw an opportunity, an opportunity to have an extra day off kind of well to have a nice long weekend at the very least what i'd figured is if i set off sunday today basically and got up to aberdeen got tipped and then got to the next site it would mean that if i did two 10 hours and did proper solid 10 hours then did my two nine hours by thursday i'd be pretty much out of time so I'd ride in like Friday morning, maybe even Thursday evening, and that would be me done for the rest of the weekend. Have a full three day weekend off. And me being me, I thought I was being quite cunning, quite clever. I'd come up with this ingenious idea to, to, uh, to have a nice long weekend. Then Mark texts me. <laughs> I'm in Stirling, where are you? <laughs> and this is before I've even set off. These, managed to get all the way past me so he started out nearly two hours behind me he's passed me got all the way up to sterling and he's already tipped so <laughs> and apparently he's tipped in the only spot we can tip so i'm gonna have to wait until the morning before i can go and tip damn you mark <laughs> you damn you I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm still in a very good position for the rest of the week and it means I'll have a nice long weekend and yeah, it's pretty, pretty awesome. And I think trading a Sunday evening, which in fairness, I'd be setting off at four o'clock anyway to go down to my truck and I'd be going to sleep early and trading that to have an extra full day off near enough, it's a no brainer really, isn't it? And you don't always get, you're not always in this position where you can set off on Sunday and you've got like a you've got like a six hour drive ahead of you so you can smash it all out um, so you've got to take it haven't you really still all we can do is get there hopefully I'll be able to get tips next to next to where Mark's already been and I can get a little bit up the road I figured if I get bunked down by I don't know like half nine I'll be up at half six tomorrow um, gets to the collection at Inverness and I don't know how true this is but this is what I've heard we're going to be going down to Warrington collecting coming back up to Perth then going back down and then going to Taunton which I don't know how we're doing that in the time we've got but uh, yeah apparently uh, we're gonna well literally have to be flying this week <laughs> made contact with the guys on site by the way I don't know if you can actually see me in this uh, we're gonna test out how good the uh, the Hero 9 is with uh, dark conditions normally I have my two lights on but if I'm honest with you the fog's quite bad and I am really struggling to see um, I don't know how well it's picking up on that but uh, yeah I've, I've not got much distance ahead of us and I've got multiple vehicles that's tucked in behind me because obviously they're, they're <laughs> they can't see very well so they're using me as a pace vehicle essentially <laughs> we'll be a bit gutted when I come off in a mile now I've spoken to Mark 
and he's explained where it is and spoken to the customer who's explained where it is but all of my visual reference points are now gone everything that I should be looking out for isn't there anymore although it is oh it is getting better as I go down there we are get a little bit of light going on nothing too much we're not doing dual carriageway speed so it's not too bad thing is once I get out of here I'll have shy of an hour of driving I still need to get somewhere and find somewhere to park up but with the fog that makes it next to impossible because by the time you've seen a was I supposed to go no there should be a set of traffic lights which I see I think this, these are then down here Right, let's call the customer. Are you just in traffic right now, mate? Ah, I am, ah, yeah. What are you behind us, mate? No, you're behind me. Just, uh... Oh, the white van? Yeah, just come down to where I'm going in now. Right, grand job. Thanks, mate. All right, let's go on the road. Look at him, what an absolute hero this guy. Just to point out, it's nine o'clock at night and this guy's come out to meet me. I mean, what an absolute superstar. Now he reckons, he reckons it is a bit narrow in here. So we'll see how that works out for us. Wow, holy crap. I need a little bit more space here. What is that on the ground? I've been told it is, I've been told it's a bit narrow, which is never a good sign. Usually when, <laughs> when they say it's a bit narrow, that usually means it's bad. So we shall see. Oh, hello. Oh no, that's, that's not too bad. Um, what can we do? Let's back up a little bit. We need to go down there. Yeah, yeah. Do with with the Merc, it doesn't really matter usually. It if it wants to burrow itself, it just will. Yeah, am I okay on that backside there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And that, yeah. Honest with you, I wasn't going to record this morning, um, but it seems um, this afternoon is basically going to make or break the week. Issue is, I've got 
pretty much near as makes no difference an eight hour trip ahead of me. It's going to bring me into um, the loading site at just before five o'clock. But that's if I travel. But that's if I travel continuously with no breaks. But in between that, I am going to have to have a 45 minute break. So, question is, can I get there before six o'clock? Also, I am going to need fuel. Where the hell? This road is a bit bumpy, isn't it? <laughs> Sorry, stuff's going everywhere. Um, come on! Traction, 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 come on! Basically, if I don't get to this site for six o'clock and get loaded, um, I will end today on essentially eight hours driving. Leave me two hours short of where I actually want to be today. And it means tomorrow I'm gonna to be starting late, which I want to be kind of gone reasonably early. Um, basically, if I can't get to site tonight, I am screwed for the rest of the week, realistically, because it all has a knock-on effect, one thing after another. It's like dominoes, they all fall in a row. And these are dominoes that you don't want to fall. Wow, that's a terrible analogy. I think you get what I'm saying. Basically, we have to be there, we have to get loaded, then we have to get out for six o'clock. Otherwise, yeah, bad. But it gets a bit narrow here, doesn't it? Come on. He definitely could have left me a little more space, but uh, that's fine. We can get past you. Oh, it leaves me on a terrible angle to looking in the mirror. Basically, what I'm saying in a very roundabout sort of way it's hammer time. It's Tuesday, it's Tuesday morning, that's what day it is. I'm about 10 minutes out from a site. Obviously, will be for you guys, because editing trickery, it'll seem like it's only 10 seconds away, or less, I don't know, we'll see. Annoyingly, things have not gone quite to plan. It's not, it's not catastrophic, but it's not quite to plan. Um, my intention was to get a 10 hour day in yesterday. I ended up doing eight hours, 50 minutes or something like that. Um, so only a nine. I'm gonna do a 10 tonight, no matter what. Even if I have to drive around the roundabout for an hour. I'm obviously joking, boss, if you're watching this. <laughs> oh, you can imagine it on the tracker, just going round and round. <laughs> what the fuck is he doing? <laughs> I think he's lost the plot this time. <laughs> so I'm going to have to get a 10 hour in today um, and keep it riding. Mark's still ahead on hours, uh, so he's looking like he'll definitely be finishing Thursday evening, as far as, as far as I can tell. I can't imagine how, how they're able to keep him out until Friday. Um, I might be riding back early Friday morning, which is fine. It's obviously not ideal. I'd, I'd, I'd prefer to finish on Thursday, because obviously I would. So Mark's just ahead of us. He's currently on site now, um, and obviously mole number two has decided that it just wants to have a look underneath the earth and just have a quick explore and see what's underneath there and it's sunk uh, because of course it has so mark's currently being pulled out of the ground from what i understand um it doesn't bode well for me if mark's sunk 
um, and he's got a full fresh set of drive axle tyres on. There's no way this isn't going to get stuck. <laughs> Where's Mark's gone down? This lad's running. I think this lad's gonna come and tell us that we've, uh, well, where, where to watch out for. Now then, sir! How are we doing? Very good. Are yourself? Uh, not bad. You're not filming, are you? I am, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, I've got all the cameras on, like, yeah. Uh, right, yeah. Dad Mark stuck there now, like I was saying. Well, he's, he's told me he's got stuck. Yeah. Where, where's it burrowed itself? Is it just there? Right there, right in front of you there. Yeah. It will not compact. Off to the right, so you've yeah. Got your man in the Volvo just spun through there. Yeah, but see that that truck doesn't get stuck. These these Mercs, they're, yeah. they're like moles. They're, they're just like burrowing. Yeah. That's that's what they do. Yeah. Uh, yeah, the buggers for it, like. Yeah, it'll be all right. Yeah, yeah. Well, if she does get stuck. I've see, got, he, got, he, he nice says confidently. Track. We're just going to follow Tony's tracks. Oh wow, it's not turning at all. Other thing is, I don't really know where I can stop. Uh oh. Oh no. Oh no. I can feel it digging. Don't dig. Don't dig. Nope. Nope. It's gone. <laughs> oh no. Let's see if we can redistribute the weight and see if that works. I'll see if Ro Lost it. We'll see. Oh. Whoa. Just next to him, yeah? Right. Let's go and do that. I'll do what he's just done there. Also, we have a nice, uh, a nice view as well. Turn PT off. Now what we need to do is just very carefully come forward. Because we've got so much weight on the back end, it takes it off the drive axle. And if you go a little bit too quick or put too much power, it instantly just digs in. And at that point there, it's, it's basically game over. Um, the only way of getting out is to be pulled out. We're okay. Right, what we'll do is we'll go and have a quick sweep and we'll get on to our next site. We're in, uh, we're in North Wales. Um, I'm like 90% sure this is the right way. I'm following Mark, so if it turns out this is not the correct way, it's not my fault. Oh, there's a guy, he's pointing at things. That's possibly good. We'll see. Now, I think probably the least helpful thing I could do is get right behind him and just like, put my horn on. I am tempted to do that. <laughs> Please don't scratch the truck. Customer has given us a warning that when we're backing in at a certain point, we have to watch out that we don't fall down the ditch because, and I quote, they can't afford a crane. <laughs> oh, right. Oh. Yeah, exactly. Oh, crap. Yeah, so this is not, that wasn't a joke when you were saying that. This has actually already happened. Why do you think I'm getting him to ring up and then you're following him? Oh, right. 
I thought. Back up, up there. Yeah. You need to keep tight to that right. Side. Okay. Right. Oh, holy crap. Bit more. Well, you want to get the trailer on as well, you are, yeah, it's, it's, it's on the edge there. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That were a bit narrow, that like. <laughs> Man, just give me a look of oh my god. <laughs> no, don't flick on me. Oh no, the little things are going to come into the cab. No, no. Get out, you little fuckers. Go on, get out of it. We've been there for quite a while. Um, I got stuck, Pooh and Mark waited for me to tip, and then because I got stuck, he then couldn't get out, and oh yeah, just chaos. Just absolute and utter bloody chaos. We've both had to pull out ABS leads because of how tight this corner is here. Of that. Thank you much, mate. Now the one good piece of news is, uh, don't hit me. Fuck it out. Thanks very much. Look at this hero here. <laughs> He's just jumped on to, uh, to plug me your ABS in. What a fucking hero. It's Thursday afternoon and. Um, it's a bit of a bittersweet day, if I'm honest with you, because I'm getting to go home. Um, I'm actually, I've got a collection, delivery, and then just back to the yard, which is awesome. But I've not used all my hours up. Um, not as many as I, I thought I would have liked to have. I was kind of hoping to have really kind of maxed the hours out, but I think I'm gonna be about five hours short, maybe six, which is quite a lot in fairness. I've spoken to my planner about getting me another job, getting something else, um, but it, it's not its not worth it, um, to be absolutely honest. And the reason is the nature of tipping as such, and the kind of like how these, these bull clothes work. With tipping, you're after the cream. That's what you're after, you're wanting the cream. And that's an expression I learned from my old boss. Basically, cream is the good stuff. It's, it's the best stuff. It's the stuff that you want in. So to explain, basically you've got different paying jobs on tippers. Obviously you do on every type of truck, but I think with tippers, it's very notable. So there are certain jobs that break even. And I think that's about half of the jobs that you do, you'll earn a little bit of profit, but they're not it's not really worth having a truck out on them sort of runs. What you're actually wanting is the cream work, the good work, the really well-paying stuff. As an example, you might go to Wales to go and pick up a load of slate, and that'll be a well-paying job. And again, this is an example. So to go and get that good paying job, you need to take something out there to make the run worth it, which is why you go and pick up something else. You might go and pick up some sand, go and tip that off, and then you can go and have the good work, the cream work. 
And to put that into perspective for today, so I'm currently at Stoke, I'm gonna go and pick up some stuff, take it up to Preston, that's gonna get me back. Now this isn't gonna be a an amazing job, it'll just be one that'll just pay the way. It'll just get me up to Preston and mean that this bit of trip hasn't been a lot. But then send me out somewhere, say for instance, uh, to send me to Hull. Well, is it gonna be a good paying job when I get to Hull? Because it's not worth sending a truck all the way to Hull and then all the way back for no profit there's, if there's nothing in it. And again, this is why that there are some weeks where I'm up at the very top of Scotland because there's a particular type of stone that needs bringing down or I'll be going over to, um, I don't know, Great Yarmouth or something like that because again, there'll be something, something good there, peas or this or that or the other, something that, that pays well, that cream work. That's what we're after, we're after the cream. So like I say, it's bittersweet. It, it's annoying that there wasn't anything else good to go and get and make that little bit extra money for the company and in fairness myself as well, cause, you know, I, I, I get my cut of the profits. to do the outro on the way up along the M6 and uh, yeah obviously as you can tell not the M6 uh, some some ways you can tell it's not the M6 uh, firstly this isn't a motorway yeah it's definitely not a motorway um, motorways don't have these corners in them usually <laughs> yeah so there was um well, well i say there was an accident i don't know something something's happened on the m6 and it's it's closed it's completely closed uh so i'm having to do wacky little routes i'm on the i'm on the a559 at the moment a road i've never been on before have i have i been down there before oh i think i might have been down there once before have i oh no yes Maybe, I don't know. So I am trying to gun it a little bit because uh, the arrival time is quarter past four and it shuts at half past. So if anything else happens, oh, and I also need ad blue as well. So yeah, and there's nowhere to get it. Oh no, I've been down that road before. Yes, I'm sure I bloody have, I recognize that place. Yes, I've been here before. I recognise this now. Uh, right, I need to get this wrapped up because I've only got 15% of battery on these. And that last, oh, we've got even less on this one. Oh no. <laughs> right, let's get the outro wrapped up and done. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, massive thank you to all my Patreons, especially my VIPs, um, Adam, Wayne, Ben, and uh, Simon. Yes, Simon. <laughs> Sorry, mate. Um, <laughs> normally I look beforehand, and I'm not this time. But the rest of the guys, as you've been able to see, they're all up and down here. Um, huge thank you to all of you. Um, you, yeah, you're all legends. And if you would like to become a Patreon, uh, you can do so in the uh, in the comments. No, the descriptiony bit down below. Um, it's it's underneath the video. Did the car just try and overtake the traffic? Wow, that's a ballsy move right there. <laughs> yes, Patreon, go and uh, go, if you can, Patreon, yes. If you can, please support the channel. Right, that's gone out, so we need to do the rest of this really, really fast. Um, Instagram, go and follow, whatever it is. Uh, other things, I have other social media there down below as well. Uh, like, comment, subscribe yada 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 all that stuff um yeah what else am i forgetting i don't know right thank you so much for watching and we shall see you next time <laughs>